Wow. You know, yesterday I was 282.8 and today I'm 280.8. I'm almost starting to think it was all water weight after all. I'm currently on a roll. I have successfully logged my calories for four days in a row. I'm currently on day number five and almost finished with the day. It always takes me time to get back into the habit, but eventually I can get there. All right, all right, 280.6. So a few days ago, my weight went down to 280.8 and I predicted that the next day it would spike up if I was on track. Sure enough, it did. 281.4 is what I weighed yesterday. And so I thought, all right, again, if I'm on track, then I think I should have a dip today. And I did, 280.8, no, 280.6. <laughs> but yay. As I neared the completion of my one-year goal, I remembered that I'd been neglecting one aspect to my healing relationship with food, the actual healing of the relationship. Learning how to enjoy food and making new choices instead of eating the same thing over and over like I had been. I had done the work in NYC, but being back home, I forgot about all of the delicious possibilities that existed beyond my triggering foods. Roasted vegetables and ripe strawberries. I don't even remember the last time I had a strawberry and it tasted delicious. <laughs> this past year has been about healing. Healing from food addiction, binging, bad habits, and self-doubt. Have I been 100% successful? Absolutely not. It's a good thing I like sriracha. But that's the whole point of this being a process. I'm not going to fix in one year all of the harmful feelings and habits that have taken me a lifetime to accumulate. 4.2 today, July 23rd. For anybody who might be confused by that weigh-in, weight fluctuation is normal, especially when you're being consistent. And if you consistently weigh yourself, you'll notice that there are patterns that happen with your weight, especially if you are being consistent. Keyword, consistent. So for me, my pattern is that something happens where I drop a significant amount of pounds, but then my body doesn't like that. So then I gain a few pounds as, you know, my body's way to regulate things. And from that point, as long as I'm being consistent with what I'm doing with the calorie deficit and all that, then I lose again and it'll be like a pound or so. It's not a huge drop. And that's why when you look at my graph over the past year, you'll see that it is not a straight line despite the fact that I was very consistent for several months throughout this past year. It just goes up, down, up, down, up, 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 up. That's what normal weight loss looks like. That's what normal weight fluctuation looks like. It's gonna go up and it's gonna go down and then a little bit up and then a lot of down and then a lot of up. You just stick to it and you'll see the linear line if you were to draw it still goes down except for that one period but it's going down it's just a very erratic way of going down i've also been noticing changes in my body more than i did previously and it's got me thinking about what it is i want to do next what is it that i want to do for my body so what i want to do is simplify exercise for the very beginner so looking ahead to the next year, I want to return to my goal of making myself stronger and I want to continue working on healing my relationship with food and learning how to love food and enjoy food, but not use it for emotional comfort. So today is July 24th, which means I have officially been on this journey, the one I'm on right now for one year. For the first time ever, I have been consistently <laughs> on a weight loss journey for one year. 283.2, all right. Just in case you're new to my channel, I base my weight loss progress on the first and second of each month. So the weight right now doesn't have any significance to that. What is significant about it is that my weight is going down. Things got rough for me that I fell off track for a bit and my weight ballooned up to 288 pounds after I had just gotten down to 278. That was on June 13th. So from June 13th to today, July 24th, my weight has gone from 288 to 283.2 pounds, meaning I have lost almost five pounds. So I have not given up. So now that I completed my goal, how did I celebrate? By buying press-on nails? Because why not? 
I decided that if I was going to reward myself, it wouldn't involve food because that has failed me in the past. I wanted to reward myself with something fun and tangible, so press on nails it is. So I have officially completed one year, but that doesn't mean that this journey is over. Far from it. I still have a lot to learn and work on. And this journey so far has taught me that it's much easier than I had always assumed for years. I just have to be willing and open to it. It's the mental blockage that makes it hard. So thank you to everybody who has supported me on this journey and especially thank you to all of you who have been here since 2015 and 2016 and have seen the bad side of me trying to lose weight and I hope I'm doing you proud. <laughs> Take care of yourselves everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.